Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we'll be looking at more prayers of the faith, and this time the prayer to the Holy Spirit. This is a short prayer, sometimes referred to as Come Holy Spirit, though it's not the same thing as the Veni Sancti Spiritus that we covered a little while ago. Let's look at the prayer. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful. Jesus sends the Holy Spirit to us to fill our hearts and minds with good graces, and kindle in them the fire of your love. The light of the Holy Spirit helps us to see the truth and gives us the strength to be charitable to others. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. This is a quote from the book of Psalms, Psalm 103 in the Dewey Rains Bible, 104 in most other translations. This verse refers to all people with the word they, and in context, it's part of a song about how God alone can provide people with what they need to live. If he sends his spirit out, people come into existence, but if he turns away from them, they die. Let us pray. O God, who instructed the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, we acknowledge that the faithful are guided in their spiritual journey by the Holy Spirit and address God directly. Grant us the same Spirit to be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation. Many points are contained in this sentence. This is a petition requesting that the Holy Spirit will help us so that we can grow in wisdom. The first of the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, as we covered in the last episode, be consoled by the Holy Spirit, which, as we've been discussing recently, will happen if we love the truth, and we request the joys associated with these gifts. Also, I suspect the phrase truly wise is meant to draw a distinction between real wisdom and false wisdom. False wisdom is described in Romans 1, 21-22, people who didn't give God glory or thanks, but instead became proud of their knowledge, and as a result their hearts became foolish. And true wisdom? How can we even begin to get that for ourselves? Well, the Bible has an answer. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Proverbs 9, 10a. Also, I don't think it's a coincidence that fear of the Lord is another of the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the seventh. Through Christ our Lord, amen. We ask that these things will happen through Jesus, since Jesus sends us the Holy Spirit in the first place. So, what we have here is a short, sweet prayer requesting the help of the Holy Spirit directly in a number of different ways, through Jesus, who gives him to the faithful. Next time, what's the novena to the Holy Spirit? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.